Well, let's bring in the independent Senator Jackie Lambie for, for her response to this. Um, Jackie, good to see you. Thanks for your time this morning. So, so what do you make of that? I mean, that according to Dan Tien, the government has been advised by lawyers either relating to the Home Affairs Department or the Attorney General that the number might, in fact, be double what what we had originally thought in terms of detainees released into the community. And um, as Julia just mentioned there, that there's been no clarification or, or no response from the Immigration Department this morning yet anyway. But on the face of it, what do you make of Dan Teen's claims? Uh, I think Dan Teen is right on the money because I was hearing from the rumour mill last week that that could be a possibility. Um, that is um, really concerning. Once again, I don't know whatever happened to this country is that we will decide who's coming inside our borders and who's leaving. Uh, I don't know how we've lost control of that. It is it is extremely worrying. But I think more worrying than anything is if uh, the Labor Party loses this case in the High Court, what does this mean for the boats coming? What does this mean for the boats coming back? Um, because, quite frankly, if there is no fear of coming to Australia or is there, there is, oh, we will detain you for a short period of time, then we're going to let you out in the loose, that is more worrying for me right now. That is what I'm, I'm um, terribly scared mm. about. But, but that, that, that's a monumental oversight, is it not, if it turns out to be true that, that the number of detainees is, in fact, double what we all thought it was? Well, I think if um, if 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 that that is correct, and that is what I've been hearing over the last week as well, then um, I guess, like I said, I've been saying early this morning, maybe Minister Joel's time is all but over as a minister, and he should be back up back on the back bench. To lose control of our national security is an absolute disgrace, and if you can't mm. get rid of a person who's lost control of that, then we're in trouble in this country. Well, already we've seen, you know a couple of arri arrivals in recent weeks and recent months, so maybe the message has already yep. been sent, Jackie. Yeah, no doubt. Um, it's called chatter, and it doesn't take long for chatter to get out <laughs> there amongst um, amongst those sort of people that are using those boats. There is a lot of money in, money in it for them, um, and they will take that risk. What I what I can tell you is Australia cannot afford to take that risk and have those sort of people mm. out on our streets. Yeah, uh, and this is um, Andrew Giles. I mean, the original story today, and it's there on the Sydney Morning Herald, that he's trying to mount this new defence in the High Court against asylum seekers who are refusing to cooperate with, cooperate with authorities. Now, Dan Tien just said this is just a stalking horse. It's a, it's a furphy because there's other stories going on. Do you buy into that? Uh, yeah, I actually... I'm listening to Dan Tien this morning, and I reckon yeah. Dan, Dan Tien is right on the money. OK. Uh, just finally before you go, Jackie, you've got the Libs running scared in Tassie. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know, but when they go and, and buy one of my URLs up and they go, oh, you know, it's a 500 bucks and we do further investigation and go, well, you actually just bought my name, my brand for $20,000 or 10000 UK, which is uh, 20, about $20,000 in Australia. You have to wonder, and they call themselves economic masters down there, and yet they're prepared to go after, uh, after my face, my name, my brand. Uh, you know, I mean, if they want to come over the Jackie Lambie Network, mate, they could have just told me and I could have brought them over, uh, you know, through a process. But um, it is concerning. I can tell you now, Tasmanians do not like this sort of thing going on. Uh, they get nasty towards an election. Once again, Tasmanians don't like this going on. Uh, so when they do lose out on Saturday, the only people to blame is the Liberal Party of Tasmania themselves okay. in the way they've played gutter politics, especially over the last two weeks. Jackie Lambie, it is good to see you as always. We'll chat to you again soon.